Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Talonflame as well as Greeted. We're going to be using Toxicroak which also has a new move Shadow Ball uh, but that's not necessarily the highlight here we're just going to be using it again because I just found it to be very amazing. So Talonflame Incinerate the damage has increased and now it has Fly. So I'm going to be going with Fly and for the Greedent it does have Trailblaze. Now Crunch and Body Slam has a pretty good combination here and I right out the gate I was thinking to myself son of a gun really a hypno of course there is because I had freaking toxic croak so of course we're gonna see confusion user on their team uh, but I don't have crunch here which would have been amazing so we went trailblaze to raise our attack and now the body slam is gonna do more you get a guaranteed attack raise when you use trailblaze right as well as coverage for water types um, so with that said if you do enjoy my content please give it a thumbs up. Got a good video here for you. Hopefully all of you did have a good Hisui and Samurai raid day. I still haven't started mine and I would have had this video up a lot sooner, but I wanted to finish my remote invites and I did all 20. I got a good amount of XL candies. I do believe like 15 and shinies. I got upwards towards around eight. Okay. We're like seven or six or something like that. A good amount, right? Uh, and I haven't even started my raid day yet. Okay. <laughs> so uh, pretty exciting. Now I'm not raiding Hisui and Samurai to get a good one. Okay, that, that's not why I'm doing I'm doing it solely for the XL candies. Anyways, let's get into the commentary here. What do we got going on? Met with a Charger Bug. Leading Toxicroak the entire time here. I think I will be reordering the back line because it starts hard countering me. You're going to see this. The algorithm this season, folks. Isn't it crazy? It's hard counter city. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? Can I just battle somebody without you know, having a manipulated situation. I mean, it would be such a different scenario and everything. Go Battle League, the feel would be so different if you were able to just battle somebody randomly. Uh, but you're gonna see here, after a while, this team was doing very well for me. And then it starts throwing flyers up front because of course I have the Toxic Croak up front. So it's just trying to counter me every single game. All right, so in this situation here up against the jellison uh i don't know i don't think i caught that i mean we were clearly there for you know a good two seconds so they could have seen that so they threw shadow ball anyway okay they go serve here so they're well aware of the typing um so yeah crunch would have been great there but we do have trailblaze which is fine now in this situation up against a trevenant now that's where you're going to be screwed because everything is resisted that we have and crunch would have been amazing because it's super effective. So we still get a shield though, because well, they just thought we had crunch. Immediately swapping into the Talon Flame as we are in a shieldless battle, getting to the uh, flame charge here. And I don't know if they close it out. You know, it could freeze a little bit at the end like that. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're quitting. Uh, just this broken ass game. Next game met with an Obama Snow. Finally, we got something juicy here. Good lead, good lead. We're going to take a decent amount of damage. Do they have Triple Axel or Weather Ball? They're still going with Weather Ball. And they're swapping into their Cresselia. So we have two shields. They have two shields. And again, another situation where having Crunch on the damn Greedent would have been a lot better. But guess what? If I put Crunch on it, then I won't see anything that's going to be super or taking super effective from it. It's going to be the reverse opposite. That's just the way my account works. It's crazy, man. They hate me so much. I don't know what it is. I can't say they hate me. I don't know. But it's just like, come on, this, this is just ridiculous, okay? And I would do live streams showcasing it. I mean, it's not like I need to do that because I bring you uncut videos, which is essentially just showing you exactly what I went through without any sort of special editing to make it seem like, oh my God, I'm gonna use a hard counter, look, look. But if I do lives, there's too many obsessed freaks with them, like who are just completely weird and wanna like, oh, manipulate the system so they'll try to like, counter me with the team that I'm using and try to get matched up when I'm in there. So I'm good. I'm good. No, I'm not going to even give them the time of day. So Lantern here actually is going to be resisting everything. So we go Flame Charge and now we're going to go Fly. Now a lot of people I see ask the question, should I go with Fly or Brave Bird on Town Flame? And to be honest with you, I don't know. I, I It really depends. They're both pretty good. It, you know, depends on your play style. I wouldn't even say your play style. I mean, Brave Bird, you're going to be hitting a little harder, uh, but with Fly, you're simply not going to be lowering your stats, enabling you to take hits better. Um, so the choice is yours. Of course, I'm using Fly because it's new, and I'm probably going to just stick with it for now. So it works out for me. As far as Greed It, eh, I like Trailblaze. It, it did very well for me. Uh, I'm not going to lie here. Uh, Greed It did amazing, okay? Uh, but having Crunch would have been great. So we're going to let that Surf go. Getting to the Shadow Ball, 
it is day two now of Go Battle League. So day two or three, I think it's day three. Uh, people are more aware of Toxic Rogue Shadow Ball, so unfortunately we're going to be getting shields out of them. We're going to let this go as we do have the Greedent to pretty much counter this thing here with the Trailblaze. We have to look out for a catch. We don't want to throw a Trailblaze into a Fire type here, and they're going to be swapping into Clotsire. Now, we do need to look out for Stone Edge. That's going to be taking us out in one shot, as we are going to be Fire as well as Flying, and you already know how weak we are to that. So we're going to go for a Flame Charge first here. They're going to be shielding it up using their last shield, which is perfect. So we're going to actually go ahead and do that as well, using our last shield and building up a little bit more energy, knowing that they're not going to get to that charge move quite yet. And we want to have a little bit of residual energy when we do come out of this. Not taking them out one more Incinerate as they did have one HP. Come on, give me a break. But that works out because now we're able to build up energy and go for the fly up against this Jellicent, doing a lot of damage, swapping into Greedent just hitting this immediately here. We're gonna go ahead and raise our attack before they throw anything, and they do have a Gligar in the back. All right, great, so we already raised our attack, and now we're just gonna keep on spamming Body Slam. This Greedent does have decent PVP IVs, and it will be able to take a hit. Even if you don't have decent PVP IVs for your Greedent, the thing is still gonna be pretty thick. As long as it's not taking super effective damage, you're gonna be able to absorb those hits. And we get to another Body Slam here. <laughs> you definitely wanna go with Body Slam. As far as Trailblaze, you could still run Crunch. I'm just testing this out. I mean, on, you know, Crunch and Body Slam are still going to be great. Uh, yeah. Next game, we are met with a Lantern. This is pretty good. Greedent could take it on. Obviously, Talonflame doesn't want anything to do with that, as all the moves are going to be resisted here. Why are... Oh, my gosh, man. Like... You know what? You <laughs> They should limit you on using certain Pokemon per day. I mean, top tier ones. Seriously, it's getting stupid. I understand you all are trying to win and stuff, and... You know, if if I didn't make videos, I would use the same team over and over and over again, probably. Because there's no point in trying to showcase nothing. I mean, you just want to rise up and get it over with, you know, get your points and not lose in this manipulated bullshit. So technically, yeah, if I was not making YouTube videos, I would probably go with some of the hardest hitting things and just keep riding it out. That's what the majority of people do, right? But you already know the drill. I have to use fun and interesting things, switch it up always making different kind of teams behind the scene that are taking losses equaling me constantly losing my elo as well as this stupid algorithm all right this haunter here is really putting up a fight okay so we're going to shield up that ice punch and they're shieldless they have a blossom in the back good night sleep tight little blossom sorry that was a shadow too nice so we're going to take a 5-0 for our our first set here with this team looking good next game what are we going to see here Shadow Dragonair, I'll take it. I will take it. So long as this is not the Talon Flame going up against this, that would be bad. Gonna go for the Mud Bomb here, and they survive with about two HP, which is just absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna go ahead and shield that up so we can win this swap. But they're gonna be retreating immediately and locking themselves in here with their Lantern. I do believe they just got to the surf right as we got to our Mud Bomb here. Beautiful. So we're getting a shield and they're going to be using their energy here. And of course, we're going to be bringing in the Greedent. We're going to go for that Trailblaze. This is where having Trailblaze is actually going to be coming in pretty handy for us here. We do have it so we can counter the water types as we do have the Talonflame on the team, right? As well as rocks. They go for the Surf. Of course, Greedent's just a, a tank and it's just going to absorb everything. Going to go for that Body Slam here taking out the lantern one shield on their end and they do have a meta champ in the back and i immediately swap into the talon flame and that was so quick we're gonna let it go and it is just a power up punch since psychic has been debuffed oh good 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 i know there's a lot of people who are mad why <laughs> why 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 are you upset why do people get upset when a, like something new meta comes in or the old broken crap gets nerfed why what it's why people act so weird is it fake outrage i feel like a lot of people online are fake outrage just so that you know they're so bored in life and look at this here this is where the flyers start not only a flyer but a freaking not to get the hell out of here there's an algorithm 1000 percent obviously and these are the same brain dead people who say there's no algorithm the same people who are crying oh this meta shift what is the big deal why are you whining and wasting your life about a meta shift moron it should be like that have a little freaking fun let's switch it up here you know not everybody has the same routine of getting up at freaking noon like you anyways i'm getting weird <laughs> all right we're gonna let that leaf play go and farm down that garbage shadowed victory bell 
I'm gonna go straight for the flame charge here. What did they throw into the battle? Oh, Haunter's. <laughs> Good night, sleep tight. Now, Haunter's amazing. Don't get me wrong, I love that thing. Coming right back, gonna go ahead and take out this not two here. Get the out of here. Freaking flyer in the front with my Toxic Croak, and we still want two shields. Get your algorithm out of here. Next game, met with a Machamp. This is good for us here. Of course, Greedent doesn't want a thing to do with this. And easily going for the Mud Bomb. No need to go for Shadow Ball here. This will almost KO him if they let it go. Now, we're going to still take a decent amount of damage from the uh, Cross Chop. So we're going to shield up that first one. Knowing they're going to get to a second one here, we're going to survive this. It's going to be pretty close. But they, yeah, do go down. We have 1 HP bringing in their Shadow Gligar. And we're going to go ahead and bring in our Talon Flame here. Um, just so we can start vamping up our attack with the flame charge. This thing can't take a hit, the Gligar, as it is a shadow, right? They're using their last shield, which is great. Our next flame charge is going to destroy them here, but they are going to be able to get to another charge move. This is going to do a decent amount of damage, which could lead them to swap. Wanted to farm them down, but I just, uh-uh. Let's just take them out. Yep. And can we get to a charge move? Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Come on. All right, there's a Shadow Snorlax, so I'm waiting for them to go for the superpower so I can destroy them because they're going to lower their attack as well as their defense. They're for doing more damage with our Body Slam. They go for their own Body Slam. They go for another one, but at this point, it's a wrap. They have no more shields, and we're going to go for two of these back-to-back, -back, and it looks like my normal type is taking the win. Let's go. Snorlax is amazing, but when it comes to the Great League, the normal type that is the king is going to be greeted. Next game, we're met with another flyer. Like I said, this algorithm is shit. They, they hate me. They really hate me. I'm not even including all the battles where they're screwing me. I'm leaving them out. Like, I'm not even going to entertain these people who are getting easy mode over and over. What about you? You got a good lead here and there. I get a good lead once a set. Okay? <laughs> okay. All right, so this is not a good situation here. I almost quit, honestly. Like... If I get countered in the front and then counter like this, I technically would pretty much leave, but I was feeling a little pissed off and frisky. So I was thinking, you know what? Get this stupid ass game. Let's see, what, let's beat this crap. Let's beat the algorithm here. So we're gonna let that go, call in the Feather Dance. They lowered our attack by two stages. Now, here you go. Now, uh, having Brave Bird here would have been good too, I guess. But in this case, we're able to spam it over and over again without lowering our stats. So I don't know. We're gonna let this go. Call in a mud bomb. That would have done a lot more if we went if we went for a brave bird and lowering our defense by two stages. That probably would have KO'd actually. So having fly helps us. And look at that clutch swap. You like that? Oh hell yeah. We're gonna shield this up here and counter them down. Still holding on to one shield while they have none. And we're gonna go ahead and go for this mud bomb here. Another garbage flyer lead. But what's gonna happen? Oh. Are we, are we gonna still pull this off even with a shield left? Garbage ass algorithm. Get your sh out of here. I shield this up just for kicks. I could have let it go, but we're gonna go ahead and shield it up and take that win with the Toxic Croak. <laughs> what do you got for me now? Flyer? Of course. Freaking Aerodactyl, man. These mother efforts will throw everything under the sun. I mean, including a damn Shadow Aerodactyl? I mean, that's not horrible for me, to be honest with you, but it's stupid annoying. <laughs> okay, now it's a little obvious. Timmy, we see what's. Did you, eat, did you eat a piece of cake already, Timmy? It's, I see it all over your face. It's like that. <laughs> or a dog that got into something and they're just a, all messy. You're like, well, you just you you just did that, obviously. Anyway. <laughs> We're over here having fun. So make sure you do give my videos a thumbs up. I really do appreciate the support. Gonna go ahead and go for another body slam up against this Politoed here. One-to-one -one shield, bringing in that Aerodactyl and getting to the body slam. This is actually going to do a decent amount as we did raise our attack. It's not very effective, but it is a shadow, bringing them down to about half. We could technically let this charge move go, but I'm going to shield it up just for good measure. I know it's probably going to be in, yeah, Rock Slide Ancient Power. And they do have a Lick of Tongue in the back. We have Greedon, which is going to be resisting that Lick. Oh, wait, do we have Greedon? No, Greedon's down. We got Talon Flame. So we're going to go ahead and just spam the hell out of them. We know that the Aerodactyl is pretty much out for the count. So we're going to go ahead and catch with the Talon Flame here and absorb the body slam perfect and this is a wrap here we're going to be able to farm down the aerodactyl it is absolutely going to destroy us rock throw is going to bring us down to pretty much no health okay they're only able to get off one and we take them out with a quick move next game tox croak into another flyer do you see do you see do you see what i'm talking about yeah my, my account's on hard mode 1000 percent. you better believe it and look at this greed and swapping 
Again, technically I would back out out of these, but nope, there you go, hey, right? there you go. There's no point. It's not skill at that point. It's just a matter of, yo, you're just hard countered. There's nothing you can do. It's not even a, a game of talent or skill or knowledge at that point. Another flyer, do you see this shit? I left it in without editing it out. So you understand like those other transitions were pretty much back to back. I just wanted to cut the other parts out because I let it sit for a minute. When I'm done with the battle, I kind of hang out for a second. All right, so we're gonna keep on going unedited here. I got so sick and tired, watch this. Charger bug, electric type in the front. Are we gonna encounter flyers now? What do you think? You take a guess. Fuck no. Let's see. Jellison. That's good, obviously. So it's like, well, you got a Jellison. Yeah, because we have the grass in the back with the, with the normal. That's the way it works. The grass and the normal are aligning with that. It's like, oh, you got a super effective and a not very effective. And they got a not very effective to your uh, back line. So we're going to go ahead and just throw this in the front. It's the way it works. Okay. All right. So they have a... Uh, I'm getting a little hype over here. They have a Gligar. Okay, we're going to raise our attack with the Trailblaze. And at, I, I'm just, you know... It, it's so... It's a shame because... This is the biggest feature I was waiting for, but now it's just manipulated. It's all to hell because the programmers are so stupid. Okay, well, I mean, actually, they're not. They're actually kind of smart because they're keeping everybody in this limbo and people are none the wiser or at least too stupid to realize it's actually happening. Oh, just a coincidence. Oh, it's a coincidence that I put a water type up front and I just keep encountering electrics. Oh, oh, oh. and then, you know, 10 games later, every everyone's like hard countering me. And then all of a sudden I put a rock type up front and there's just grass types oh, and ground types. Just a coincidence. Stuck out, man. How stupid can people get? Holy crap. No wonder everybody's can easily controlled and manipulated. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Freaking nuts, dude. Anyway, getting a little pissed off here. Ugh, I just want to have fun. You know, you, the beginning of the season is when you're supposed to have the most fun. You know, because you can use spicy things and people are using spicy things. All right. So you're like, well, what about this? Isn't this good? Yeah, this is good for once. Okay, like I said, I'm leaving out a lot of that stuff, but where did the flyers go? Oh, all of a sudden, a fighter. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Right. Anyways, we already know they're going to go Brutal Swing. We're going to farm their punk ass down. Well, I can't say that. That's It's not their fault that they're, they're not the issue. Taking my anger out on random traitor. <laughs> this is good. I'm going to be able to counter them with Talonflame. And they're throwing... <laughs> Of course, they're not going to farm us down with Fairy Wind. Uh, Aerial Ace, great, 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 great. They have no more shields. They're so done. It, it is so over. It is, it's been over, and they know it. Yeah, they back out. We bring in the greeting. That was a wrap there. Show me a flyer with that uh, Charger Bug up front. What do we got now? Oh, there's a flyer. There you go. But do you see what they do? It's a flyer, but it's a dragon too. So it's not super effective. So not... <laughs> These mother efforts, man, I swear... <laughs> Oh, there's another fire! And it's yet again not something that the Charger Bug is actually going to be super effective to. This is what hard counter... This is what hard mode looks like. I need to make a shirt that says, Living on Hard Mode. Yeah. Would you guys like that? Yeah. Let's let's make merch that says, Living on Hard Mode. And uh, I'll figure out what kind of a design I'll put. It's not going to just have text. It'll have Pokemon or something. Silhouettes. I can't use the designs. Otherwise, it'll be a copyright thing. That's why I have to do it very vaguely. But... Um, yeah, we're going to make a shirt called living on hard mode or, or something to that degree. Okay. But take a look. Isn't this funny? If, if there's anybody who wants to know about the algorithm, send them to my channel. Okay. Or if there's anybody who's curious, like why is go battle league seems so manipulated, send them, send them my way. Say pokey AK will let you know, and he won't hold his tongue. Okay. Just make sure you don't have all the little ones around sometimes because it gets a little aggressive on his videos. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right, going for the brave or braver fly, and gonna go for another fly here up against this Whizcash, and swap into the Charger Bug for a c -c 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 combo breaker, taking out that Whizcash, and look at right back to the flyer here. <laughs> We're gonna let it go. We can just build up to the fly on the Town Flame. Actually, got a little close. I was like, oh shoot, should I have done that? But do you see that? They gave me a flyer, but it's not super effective. It's actually for Dragon. I love it. 
I love the obviousness here. There you go. They want to keep giving me the damn water types. But there's a good lead for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens once in a while, of course. Not gonna, not every game, but a good 75% to 90% are hard counters. Alrighty. Um, bringing in the Talon Flame to go up against the uh, Pidgeot here, going for that Flame Charge. I figure they're gonna probably go Brave Bird, but eh, uh, 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 not good, not good. But we got two counters to them, so we'll just go ahead and bring in the Charger Bug to farm them down here, and they'll have to reveal their last Pokemon. Okay, Clot Sire. Whew, that's not good. Um, we have Greedent, which is gonna be able to handle the Jealous in here. So, oof. <sighs> I'm just going to have to see how this works out. I just keep spamming this. We have two shields to work to our advantage, though. They've only got one. But one is one too many. Going for that Sludge Bomb, and we're still going strong. Just x scissoring the hell out of them here. We're going for x scissor because it's more effective than the, um, the electric to ground. So we'll let this go. They like, God, I am dirty. All right, what we're going to do is let this go. And then we're going to go for Troll Blaze. Really screw them up, raise my attack, and then we're going to spam the hell out of the Clot Sire with Body Slam and see what we can do there. They let that go. Great. Now I'll just raise my attack by uh, two stages. Sounds good to me. This Troll Blaze will 100% KO you now, and I should be able to outpace you. Beautiful. Going to go for that Trail Blaze with this Greed in here, one of the stars of the show. Down they go, and we've raised our attack by two stages. There's no way Clot Sire can even take me out with a charge move anyways. I would take about two. Um, and that's a wrap. There you have it, folks. Your Greedent and your uh, Talonflame looking great with their new upgraded moves. Thank you for watching and take care. Come crawling Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.